What is going on everyone? Welcome to the update 24 in Bloons TD6 and I can tell you guys right now, this is one of my favorite updates they've ever put into the game. There are a lot of things to talk about starting from the new hero called Soda, the new map called Balance, there is a new balloon type added to the game which is the Golden Balloon and as usual there is a new skin, this time it's a skin for Benjamin, some limited edition trophy store items which I'm going to be showing off and the balance changes which are this time smaller than usual and only a few towers affected but we'll run through everything anyways. So let's start with the one that we've been anticipating the most and that is the new hero, Sada. She's the second melee hero in the game and I'm super excited for this one. I played around with her actually before making the video and she looks really strong. So let's run through her abilities and see what she's about. Well first off she attacks in a cone and even though she's melee her attack does AoE damage. She can see camel balloons and she can pop lead balloons starting from level 13. Her level 3 ability is called Leaping Sword and what it does is she leaps towards the first balloons on screen and does AoE damage and it's on a relatively short cooldown so you can spam this one quite a bit. And a cool thing about this ability is that she leaves the swords in the area that she jumped on for a very short amount of time and balloons that come into contact with her swords get popped as well. Her level 10 ability is called Sword Charge and this one makes her charge throughout the whole track starting from the back to the front and dealing massive damage to everything. So a quick look into Sada's abilities tells us how this hero is meant to be played, specifically level 7 and 11. So starting from level 7, Sada deals extra damage to balloons that are stunned and starting from level 11 she deals extra damage to balloons that are slowed, immobilized or taking damage over time from other towers. So what this means is that towers like the glue gunner, a main moab sniper and abilities like absolute zero and pop and all are something that we definitely should look to combine her with. The new map which looks awesome is an intermediate map called Balance and I really don't know exactly what's happening on this one. It seems like the balloons are coming out from the left and right side simultaneously and they're taking these small paths to go through the middle and then go out on the other side. Next up, the new balloon type added to BT6 is the Golden Balloon which we had in BT5 but with different properties. So the Golden Balloon is the first balloon type to be added into the game since its release I think and it's a great addition to the game. The Golden Balloon appears on one map of each category and what it does is it gives you monkey money. So not cash in game but actual monkey money. It appears every 10 rounds starting from the 20s and it gets harder and harder to pop with each next appearance and don't worry if you leak this one because you won't lose any lives, it was meant just as another way of earning monkey money in the game. As usual cosmetic items got added into the game and we have a new Benjamin skin called Sushi Bento, I think this guy was added as a meme, I mean come on I can't take this guy seriously, look at the stuff that appears on top of his head and on top of the other monkey's heads when you use his abilities. As I mentioned earlier there are a lot of new trophy store items so let's show off some of them. They added a Kiwi pet which of course goes with the ninjas and now we have the ninja Kiwi combo. Cool stuff. We have the Benjamin Matrix placement which goes with the original Ben skin. Uh, we have a cosmetic, actually a projectile cosmetic for the Darling Gunner which is a cosmetic for the Buckshot and the Rocket Storm upgrades and it also affects the abilities. And we also have a couple of new easter themed limited edition items like for example the BFB and the Moab skins which I'm not a fan of so I won't be purchasing those as well as some of the avatar competition winners which look awesome. And let's quickly run through the balance changes. As I mentioned this time a lot smaller than usual but definitely significant in some towers. The first change I want to talk about is Oben and his activated abilities now having no RNG to them and now they work in a similar way of Gwen's cocktail. So the brambles and the wall of trees now get placed on top of the balloons that Oben is targeting. They reverted the change made to the sharpshooter the previous patch so now he's back to dealing 6 damage per shot and now he gets to keep his attack speed from the previous update. Very cool. And the glaive lords rotating glaives now do an extra 2 damage to fortified balloons to give it a little bit of a push in free play. Races got affected quite a lot in this update and now the blade maelstrom and the super maelstrom spears got reduced to 100 and 500 respectively. So no more infinite pierce and that likely means that this cross path is dead in races. Same thing with the ground zero and the sar bomba abilities which had their pierce reduced to 1000 and 5000 respectively and the super monkeys tech terror ability even got reduced. Uh, so now it has a pierce of 2000 but the tower is a little bit cheaper to get. 
Small changes were made to the heli pilot, so the Razor Rollers now do 2 damage instead of 1. A very nice change there. Uh, the Bloons Generation Mortar is now about $5,000 cheaper. Uh, the Darting Gunner's Base Tower is now a little bit cheaper as well, and the Plasma Accelerator is now 20% stronger than it was before. The top and middle pet Alchemist cross pad got buffed, so the 220 and the 320 Alchemist buff duration got increased, and some small changes were made to the Spike Factory, making the Spike Balls upgrade a little bit more expensive, but cutting down the cost of the price of the Spiked Mines for the same amount. And the 105 Perma Spike now has a little bit more pierce. So that is update 24 for you guys, a lot of new content being added, and we should also expect an Easter collection event very soon as well. But anyways, that's it for this video, hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you did, make sure to leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel if you're new here, and I'll see you in the next one.